start. A nice beginning for Majestic River. Came out in front. Right behind is Midnight Lucky, and they are going to go out in the lead. It's Majestic River and Midnight Lucky. They're absolutely head-to-head -head as they head out the stretch. A couple away in third is Unusual Way. Countess Curlin's racing three wide. The center is Canticle. Over on the outside, she's a top attraction. And back second last early is Fraudulent Footnote, and the trailer is infinitely. Midnight Lucky sitting right alongside Majestic River. They head into the back stretch, six furlongs to run a Majestic River, a little bit away from the inside. A neck in front, Midnight Lucky in second, a length to Unusual Way, room enough to come through. A half a length away is Canticle, followed by She's a Top Attraction. Countess Curlin, she's four off the lead, and about three lengths away, second last, Fraudulent Footnote, and last of all is Infinitely. They race to the half mile, and showing the way is Majestic River by a neck. Unusual Way poking up on the inside, Midnight Lucky is poised in second. Right behind them on the outside is Canticle, and they start to pick up the tempo just a little bit here. Majestic River and Midnight Lucky continue to dominate, but Midnight Lucky has gone on by Majestic River, and she has got a neck in front. A length to Canticle in third, then came Unusual Way. Countess Curlin stretching her neck out is running on, but they go to the quarter, and Midnight Lucky has opened a length and a half lead on Majestic River. Unusual Way has gone to second, then Canticle, and from here on, is it going to be a matter of how far? Midnight Lucky well ahead. She's four in front and she has not had to go into second gear in second placing unusual way and behind them countess curlin but they go inside the furlong another star from the bob baffert barn and she's set for bigger and better midnight lucky is in a hand canter what an outstanding display midnight lucky couldn't have been more impressive she's won by eight lengths unusual way second countess curlin third and then infinitely All day long. A track record performance from Midnight Lucky to take the Sunland Park Oaks. The record was 141 and four fifths. She goes 141 flat for the mile and the 16th, and she could have gone much faster. Excuse me, that's the five there. I highlighted, uh, got the wrong chick lit up. Look yeah, at her ears going back and forth, Sam. Absolutely. She's, she's, she doesn't even know what she's doing still. It's just, just raw talent. She broke a step slow, and Bejarano asked her. Then she jumped into the bridle, and she was engaged in the first turn. The, I think the advantage she had, she was drawn outside a little bit. You know, post position five, that helped her. And then they came to challenge her. The two Canticle put in a challenge down the backside. And Canticle came to her for about four or five strides, and Bejarano said, you know what, let's go on with it. And this is the end result, a 10-length win. Wow, this is it's a lot of different ways you can go with this filly. She's got some kind of talent in here. And you know what, the filly that ran second in there, unusual way, she's nice. She's three for seven lifetime. She's won over 240,000, and she just got destroyed. And this horse broke the track record. This is a three-year-old filly breaking a track record there by almost a full second. And it was easy. It was easily yeah. done for yeah. her. Yeah. No question about they it. Might've, they could have made. They could have made run her in the in the Derby. <laughs> the, Sun the Sunland Derby. Sunland she might have been right there at the wire. The Sunland Derby is next. But there is Midnight Lucky, now two for two lifetime, a stakes winner and a route winner for Bob Baffert, Rafael Bejarano. Baffert, plenty of success there at Sunland Park. Yeah, he's won this race three times now, all by open lengths. Princess Arabella, Plum Pretty. A 25-length winner. She went on to win the Kentucky Oaks. A midnight lucky. I said. So did you go third start of your career straight to the Kentucky Oaks, huh? Uh, that's probably. A, yeah. That's a tough task. Yeah. But I would think she's going to be the favorite come Oaks Day if she oh, trains okay. No question about it. Absolutely.